I've had a lot of questions about what key bindings I am using in the Destiny 2 beta. So here's a quick video to show you just that. In the key mapping section, which can be, you can hit escape, go there, or hitting the normal, hitting F1, and then going to settings by pressing D, that'll get you to the key map area. I know, it's it's, it's a little weird getting used to these uh, settings. So fire is just going to be left mouse click, hold zoom, right mouse click, which is pretty basic for normal FPSs. Melee for me is F. I've been playing a lot of Overwatch, and uh, F is just a very quick key to quickly just tap on the uh, uh, right since my main movement is going to be WASD. So I just move my index finger over like half a centimeter, boom, and I can I can melee someone. Toggle zoom, I have no idea what that even does, so I haven't even bothered binding it. Reload is gonna be your standard R, light attack and heavy attack. This is what's going to be used in your super, so your uh, arc strider, your sentinel titan. Uh, I assume swords, when we actually have them, Later on in the game, uh, we will be able to use light attack and heavy attack. And that's just left and right mouse button. Pretty simple from your normal fire and hold zoom. Anyway, uh, block is going to be C. That's going to be for specifically for the sword. Yes, an entire button uh, dedicated just to the sword. However, uh, the heavy attack for the sentinel right here actually gives you a block as well. So I haven't tested to see if these two uh, work the same. Jump is going to be standard space bar. Hold sprint, uh, haven't bound that. I am more used to a toggle sprint. So you press shift and then you run. You don't have to hold shift down the entire time because that gets a little bit tiring on your uh, pinky finger. More importantly, if you are toggling sprint, it's much easier to then crouch because that will allow you to slide. So if you are running forward, you can just kind of slide your left pinky down from shift to control to get off a quick slide. My class ability is bound to a mouse button. Uh, there are two buttons here and it is the furthest uh, or the closest button to my left click. Uh, air move is also bound to a mouse button. That is only going to be used by the Warlock uh, Dawnblade subclass. So I'm, I, I'll probably unbind that in the future and g give that uh, key right there a little bit more use. Class ability is actually a very important thing to have. I believe the standard one is something like X or V, which is very awkward to hit with WASD. Like your index finger has to move up or you have to hit it with your thumb and it just it feels a little bit awkward so if you have a mouse with extra buttons on it please bind it to that or uh bind it to something else like caps lock uh speaking of caps lock i have interact bound to caps lock so picking up ammo reviving someone uh you know, basically all of those types of things and activities or when you need to use your ghost and a strike to unlock a door all of that is done with caps lock the only bad thing is that occasionally you start t uh typing in caps to people, which, eh, they'll get over it. Um, grenade is bound to E, uh, because, you know, grenades, you, you, need to, you need to get to them quick. It's a very split-second decision thing. Super is bound to Q, because uh, as, as little as I have played MOBAs, uh, having your super bound to Q is really good. Also, Overwatch, I believe my super is bound to Q there. So pretty easy to transition to just quickly tapping Q to, you know, Titan Smash someone or Pop Golden Gun, anything like that. Kinetic weapon is one, secondary weapon is two, or secondary weapon, that's an energy weapon, bungee. Uh, heavy weapon, we don't have heavy weapons, we have power weapons. I found something wrong with the beta. Uh, we have one, one, two, and three, so very standard swapping through all of your weapons and cycling. Switch weapon is basically when you swap to one weapon and then you can hit tilde to swap back. I've never used this before. I'll probably unbind that in the future if I actually need something. Uh, for vehicles, which we don't actually have here, we have primary fire, secondary fire, zoom as a left mouse button, or yeah, right mouse button, boost is also uh, apparently right mouse, right mouse button, brake is going to be shift, exit vehicle is spacebar. Very odd, <laughs> very odd uh, things here for the vehicles. We haven't had a chance to use these yet, uh, so I will probably be rebinding those sometime in the future. Uh, one other thing people probably want to just know about controls, I don't know what my DPI is set to on this mouse. It's like a middle setting, uh, and I have my look sensitivity set at 4. And then ADS sensitivity modifier, I put that at 0.8, because you want to be able to look around pretty quickly in the game, but when you are 
ADSing, you want to have very precise aim. And I found that if I kept it on just one where it normally is, uh, I was overshooting targets, not able to, uh, it wasn't a direct one to one movement. But turning it down to 0.8 made it slow down just enough that I was able to just perfectly land shots for the most part. Uh, vertical and horizontal inversion. If you need that, please do. Aim smoothing, turn that off. Always keep that off. Always keep that off. It does not help you. For controller, if you want to play Destiny on PC with all these beautiful graphics, uh, 60 FPS, but you prefer using a controller, just take your normal Xbox, your PlayStation controller, and plug it in. That's all you got to do. And you'll it'll be like playing console Destiny, which is really nice. <laughs> it's a very nice thing to have. One other quick thing we can do is go into the gameplay tab. What I'm going to recommend that you actually do here is change your reticle color. Uh, I believe the default is white, which to me, that kind of gets lost on a lot of the gray backgrounds and concrete walls and skies in the game. Um, red, even though it seems rather bright, it's on the darker color spectrum, so I wouldn't recommend using it. Uh, blue is also going to get, get get lost in some of the lighter things, like with lightning grenades. Uh, a lot of the lighting lighting in the game is actually rather this shade of blue, so I can imagine your reticle getting lost in that. Yellow, again, lighter on the color spectrum. Um, yellow and green are two okay ones. Yellow is too close to the sky for me. Green has always been my go-to uh, crosshair ever since, like, uh, God... Medal of Honor Allied Assault days, um, making custom crosshair mods just to have this neon green crosshair because it's super easy to see your crosshair uh, next to everything else in the game. Nothing in the in this game is this color, except maybe some like Crota Energy stuff, which in that case, if you're doing a lot of Crota stuff, you, know, you can probably switch to red because that's a pretty different color spectrum there. But green is what I would use uh, for your reticle just to always see it against the background. All right, that about does it. I hope some of these key binding suggestions really helped you out. Uh, like I said, just put your put your super on Q, your grenade on E, melee on F, have a class ability bound to your mouse, and you're going to have a much better time. If you need to swap some of that stuff around, like putting a class ability on the keyboard and maybe melee on your mouse, that's fine too. Really, you just got to use something that's more comfortable. And the, the default key bindings feel very awkward in the game. So best of luck to you guys. Hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Man, that's a guy up there. She's a... It's one shot. God dang it! Why did he... Even hey! They just ignore Altman right in front of them. They go for me. Catch! <laughs> Playing like the booty. I love it. I mean.